Okay, let's go on to the second part of chapter uh, six. Well, it's the first part, but it's the second part of the digestive system. So here's some additional suffixes of the digestive system. Um, what are the goals? To find new suffixes and use them with digestive system combining forms. List and explain laboratory tests, clinical procedures, abbreviations, common to the digestive system, and apply your knowledge to understanding medical terms in the proper context, which is our ultimate goal. So ectasis or ectesia, that would be like bronchiectasis, like dilation of the bronchial tubes. Emesis would be, a perfect example would be hemato, hemata, emesis, like vomiting blood. Pepsia, pepsia would be one of those things like dyspepsia, that's bad digestion or indigestion. Phasia, um, you can have dysphagia, which is difficulty swallowing. Plasty, rhinoplasty, a surgical repair of the nose. Uh, tysis, tysis. So hemotysis would be spitting up blood. So again, ectasis is dilation or widening. Emesis is vomiting. Pepsia is digestion. Phasia is eating. So dysphagia would be difficulty eating or swallowing. Plasty is surgical repair, rhinoplasty, and tysis spitting, so hemoiptosis spitting up blood. Uh, regia, ruffi, rhea, spasm, stasis, stenosis, tresia, so let's give examples. Ragia is the burst forth of blood, so ragia, so hemorrhage, or menorrhagia is heavy discharge of blood during menstruation. Ruffi, hernia ruffi is suture repair of the hernia. Pyorrhea would be discharge of pus, you know, diarrhea as well. Uh, spasm, you can have pyroplasm, cardiospasm. So cardiospasm would be involuntary contraction of the cardiac sphincter. Stasis, uh, uh, hemostasis is stoppage of blood flow. Stenosis, so you can have pyloric stenosis, narrowing of the pyloric sphincter. Or you can just have lumbar stenosis, where it's just narrowing of the lumbar canal. Uh, tresia is opening, so atresia is not open. Suffixes that are also used alone as separate terms. So emesis, lysis, spasm, stasis, and stenosis. Like I was saying, you can use these by themselves as well. So you can use lumbar stenosis or just muscle spasm. Right, so spasm in malentry contraction muscles. So you don't have to add these suffixes to any word. You can just use them by themselves. So what term means difficulty swallowing? That would be dysphagia. Which word means to control or stop bleeding? So stasis, blood, hemostasis. There's some other combining forms and terminology. Uh, buco, cilia, chili, col, colangi, colosta, colodoc. We've used these before. Uh, again, buco meaning cheek. So buccal pertaining to the cheek. Uh, cica, like cecal volvulus, twisting or part of the cecum. Uh, ciliac, so celiac artery. Cello, so cello ostomoplasty. Hmm. Cello ostomatoplasty, surgical repair of the lip and mouth. Okay, col, so cholecystography, which is record of the gallbladder. And colodoc, so colodocal is pertaining to the common bile duct, all meaning pertaining to. So here's col, colon, dent, duod, enter, esophageal, gastrogingivitis. We've talked about these before, colo, colon. So this is a good review for you. Dent meaning tooth, duodenum, entero meaning intestines, esophageal meaning esophagus. So some more examples would be colaectomy, right, removal of the colon, colonoscopy, visual examination of the colon, uh, dentalgia as pain in the tooth, um, gastroduodenal, anastomosis, well, that's a big word, right? gastroduodenal anastomosis, okay, so that would be new opening between the stomach and the duodenum, 
entero, how about enteroafi, suture of the intestines, esophageal artesia, closure of the esophagus, um, gingivectomy or gingivitis, anything dealing with the gums, uh, gloss, gluco, glyco, hepato, hern, aisle, jejunum, and labia. So let's look at that. Glosso meaning tongue. Uh, what about glossotomy, incision of the tongue, uh, gluco or glyco, glycolysis, breakdown of sugar, hepato, hepatomegaly, enlargement of the liver, okay. Hern, herniography, suture of the hernia, ilia, ileostomy, new opening of the ilium to the outside of the body, uh, jejunum, we can say Cholecystojejunostomy sounds uh, in, intimidating, but really, if you just break it down, cholecystojejunostomy is new opening between the gallbladder and the jejunum, and labia is lips, so uh, labioglossopharyngeal pertaining to the lips, tongue, and throat. Now you have lingual lip, lithe, odont, or palato, pancreas, so sublingual uh, lipogenesis, formation of fat. We don't like that. Uh, uh, lithotripsy is crushing of stones in the bile ducts. So if you get uh, uh, kidney stones or stones, um, oro, oropharynx, okay, the region of the throat near the mouth, palato, platoplasty, surgical repair of the palate, and then pancreatic is pertaining to the pancreas. Again, lingual meaning tongue, lipo, fat, litho, stone, or danto tooth, palato, and pancreas. Procto, pyro, recto, sialadin, sialadin, spleen, state, and stromato. So let's look at procto as anus and rectum. So you, you see a proctologist. He is a, one that specializes in the anus rectum. Pyloro, pyloroplasty is surgical repair of the pyloric sphincter. Uh, you can get rectum, so rectal stenosis, tightening of the rectum. Uh, Siladine, so think about this. A siladenectomy is removal of the salivary gland. Uh, state teria is discharge of fat in the feces. And stomato, stomatitis is inflammation of the mouth. So which term means enlarged liver? So we got to look at liver, hepatomegaly. So that's C. Um, what are some... <clears throat> Laboratory test, again, amylase and lipase test, test for levels of amylase and lipase enzymes in the blood. There's liver function tests, LFTs, test for enzymes and bilirubin in the blood. You can do a stool culture, test for microorganisms in the stool, or stool goic tests or hemical tests, test to detect blood in the feces. So they can test this for colon cancer. Um, which of the following tests for the for the clear fluid that remains after blood has clotted? Serum, D is LFTs, liver function tests. LFTs test for the presence of enzymes and bilirubin in the serum. What are some clinical procedures? Well, of course, you can do x-rays. Really, they're known as radiographs, uh, lower GI series, uh, barium enema. You can do an upper GI series. You can do cholangiography or computed tomography or CT scan. In a cholangiography, how does the contrast material enter the body? Okay. Do you drink it or how does it get there? Again, these are just things to think about. You can have an ultrasound exam, so abdominal ultrasonography, which is endoscope ultrasonography. You can do an MRI, which is a magnetic resonance. And then you can do nuclear medicine, hepatobiliary, immunodiasectic acid scan, which is a HIDA scan. Uh, which test is used to examine the gallbladder, do you think? Okay, and which test creates a scan of the liver? So that would be this one, nuclear medicine test, hepatobiliary, immunodiasectic acid scan. And which test is used to examine the gallbladder? You can do uh, ultrasound. Now here's some uh, surgeries, and in your discussion, we're probably going to go, uh, you're going to talk about this. There's the gastric bypass or bariatric surgery. So that reduces the stomach size, the bariatric surgery, but bypass, you can bypass the entire stomach as well. 
uh, GI gastrointestinal endoscopies, which is a visual exam of the GI tract. Laparoscopy is a visual exam of the abdomen. Liver biopsy, removal of liver tissue for microscopic exams. A nasogastric intubation, insertion of a tube through the nose into the stomach. Paracentesis or abdominocentesis is puncture to remove fluid from the abdomen. If you've heard of amniocentesis when you're pregnant, they'll take a culture when you're pregnant of your amnion fluid. Which procedure is a surgical puncture to remove fluid from the abdomen? That would be D, abdominocentesis. It's because centesis means puncture to remove fluid. Here's some abbreviations. AFP, ALT, BE, BM, BRB, PR, CD, CT, EGD, ERCP. You're like, what does that mean? Well, AFP means alpha fetoprotein. Alkylphosphate means alkaline phosphate. ALT, AST is alanine and tramidase, aspartitum, transmensic. These are all blood tests. Um, BE, barium enema. BM, bowel movement. BRBPR, bright red blood per rectum. We don't want to see BRBPR. CD is celiac disease. Computed tomography, CT. EGD, esophagogastroduodenoscopy. ERCP is endoscopic retrograde colangiopancreatography. <laughs> so break it down, right? Graphy, pancreato, angio, col, right? Let's see what, what's going on here. Uh, here's some more abbreviations. EUS, FOBT, G2, GB, GERD, GI, HPV, IBD, G2, J2, LAC, and LFT. So EUS is endoscopic ultrasonography. FOBT, fecal occult blood test. G2, gastroenterostomy uh, 2, feeding tube. GB, gallbladder. GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. GI, gastrointestinal. HBV, hepatitis B virus. IBD, inflammatory bowel disease. J2, jejuostomy 2, feeding tube. LAC, laparoscopic assisted colectomy. LFTs, liver function tests. MRI, NASH, NG tube, NPO, PEG, PEC, PEJ, PTHC, PUD, PTN, TPN, and T tube. So you've heard of these before, and these all deal with the GI. So this would be good to know because they use that in the medical charts all the time. So MRI is a magnetic resonance imaging. NASH is non-alcoholic hepatitis. NG tube is a nasogastric tube. NPO means nothing by mouth. PEG tube, percutaneous endoscopic gastroenterotomy tube. PEJ, percutaneous endoscopic jejunostomy tube. So that's in the stomach and that's in the jejunum. PTHC, percutaneous transhepatic cholangiography. HUD, peptic ulcer disease. TPN, total parenteral nutrition. Okay, so what is TPN? Total parenteral nutrition. T. Tube is a tube placed in the bile duct for drainage into a small pouch on the outside of the body. So you'll see NPO, you'll see TPN uh, uh, in a lot of patients that are admitted to the hospital. And you want to know, make, make sure what that means. Uh, if NPO, that means nothing by mouth. Okay, TPN, how are they getting their nutrition? Okay. Acentesis, chesia. Exia, ectasis, ectomy, emesis, emia, and genesis. We talked about these. So ACE is an enzyme, centesis, puncture to remove fluid, chesia, defecation, illumination of waste. Um, ectasia or ectasis is stretching, dilation, and expansion. Those mean the same thing. Ectomy is removal. Emesis is vomiting. Emia is a blood condition like anemia. And genesis is produce forming. Graphy, iasis, lysis, megaly, orexia, pathy, pepsia, phasia. So graphy, process of recording. Iasis is an abnormal condition. Megaly is enlargement. Again, these are just a review. Again, orexia, appetite, pathy, disease, pepsia, digestion, and phasia, eating or swelling. We've uh, uh, said these over and over again now. Prandioplasty, ptosis, tysis. 
Raja, Rajya, Rafi, and Ria. So prandial is meal, plasti is surgical uh, removal, ptosis is droop, sag, uh, ridge is bursting forth, um, Rafi is suture, and Ria is flow or discharge. All right. So again, the, there's lots of things that uh, uh, are repeating itself now, and you're getting more and more used to these. Uh, just got to make flashcards. Um, Scopy, spasm, stasis, stenosis, stomy, tomy, and tresia. Again, I went over these early on, but scopy is visual. Um, spasm is sudden contraction of the muscles. Stasis is stop. Stenosis is tightening. Stomy is new opening. Tomy is process of cutting. And tresia is the opening. So a lot of these are a repeat, um, but this is just more review for you. Um, again, it's just a matter of seeing it over and over again and basically quizzing each other and just going over it. Good luck.